just uh, hit record here because I was out looking for dodos. I was going to kill a few dodos, maybe tame a few, and the idea being to uh, get back to my original plan of having the dodos follow around when I was harvesting, and I ran across this guy, one Dillo. And I just barely managed to survive taking him down to unconscious. Just now went and picked up some more meat for him. One of the aforementioned dodos. And... Or her, whatever. And so, I also picked up a dodo egg. So that's cool. And so now... I am playing the waiting game with Taming. I'm just hoping that I have enough raw meat for it. I don't see anything else around here that I can quickly and easily kill to feed it. Unless maybe it's this uh, pig-looking thing. Come on. He's glitched in a rock. I should have no problem finishing him off. And yes, I will shamelessly take advantage of that. I broke my pick, so we'll just keep going with the axe. Come on already. Die. Finally, raw meat hides twenty some raw meat. This is great. Come on, finish him off. Okay, great. Let's get back over here to this one who is going to end up being the new number one. All right, let's drop some more meat in there. And hit another one of these narcos. Actually, let's hit two or three of them. The torpor was getting down awfully low. And it's almost tamed. That's good. All right. Got it. One Dilophosaur. All right. Okay. This will be the new number one. Yeah. I'm numbering them. Okay. Okay, uh, let's see, aggression to neutral, and following, I guess, is what it's going to do. All right, okay, let's go. Right, excellent. So, now I've got something that knows how to fight on my side. This is good. And actually, I think what I'm going to do now is head back toward the base. See to it, this one has enough uh, meat for food. Along the way, I'm going to gather some resources, cut some trees, and uh, so on. Get my tools fixed and uh, get about the business of doing what I was originally planning to do, which is to spend a couple of in-game in days gathering resources and uh, getting ready for whatever else. So, I'm off to do that. All right. What you're seeing here is the tail end of an encounter I had. I was out with one heading up the beach looking for some little uh, things to kill and maybe to pick up another Dilo and so on. I ran into this guy. He chased me down, he ate me, and then he ate one and very nearly got after me again when I was going back down in there to uh, pick up my stuff. And 
I ran around here. There was a stego here. And this guy finished off the stego. Yeah. That was pretty bad. I got recording as soon as I could, but I missed probably most of it. What you saw was the tail end of that little encounter. Uh, let's see. I'm half tempted right now to get over here with the uh, trike over here between me and this Carno and then hit the Carno and run. See if the Carno will take on the trike. Maybe the trike will weaken the Carno. Whichever one survives might be weak enough to take down. What do you think? This is probably a really dumb idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. What's the matter? I've not got any stone. I don't have any tank on stone. Okay. No, I want the other one for the stone. Let's not cut the whole thing down. I'm standing on it. In fact, I'm hiding on it. I'm pretty sure I'm hitting him. He's glitched into that tree. It's just conceivable that I could actually knock him out. That would be awesome. Knock that thing out and get it tamed? Yeah. Of course, while I was headed back to recover my stuff, He was over there very busily messing with the little bit of a house I've got. All right, let's just chop up some more of this thing. All right, let's chop some of this. Prepared to run like crazy if need be. I am hitting him. Oh yeah, run, run, run. Found the best way to get away from him is to get down into the water. He goes slower in the water than I do. The problem is, let's see. Yeah, he's still back there. He's determined. All right. I need to lead him away. And yeah, he's still out there. Still moving fast. <laughs> Trying to stay above water long enough to get some air. Stamina is about shot. I need to get out of the water. Okay, come on. And look behind you very briefly. Okay, he appears to be way off there. Okay. 
You're too hot. You're too cold. Yeah. All right. What's my health at? Just now recovered. And I'm glad I have put some extra in stamina. Oh, the health is about half. The stamina is what just now recovered. Okay. I'm glad I've been putting some points in stamina. Well, as of the last level. Okay. I am going to stay kind of inland. Make my way back towards home. And I need... It would be ideal, fantastic, if I could get that guy tamed, but that isn't going to happen. Not yet, it isn't. I am way not in any position to do that. And, uh, along the... Oh, he's still out there. Okay. Okay, that's what's left of my fire. I keep hitting escape to break out of stuff. Alright. This is one of my chests. The one with all the wood. And I'm just going to throw it all in here for right now. I've made more storage chests, as you can see. Okay. Okay. Need that. I am going to need to rebuild my thatch walls. Okay, it looks kind of odd, but I swear it looks like either he's over there behind that rock or he's sailed off into the distance. Mm. Well, no, he's over there behind a the rock. The rock that seems to uh, fade out as I get close. Or get farther away. Alright. I am going to make it a uh, major life goal to not annoy him any further. Uh, I do not have any of the uh, engrams necessary to turn this into a wooden place. Not that I think wood is going to survive against him very much. Uh, wooden wall... I could get wooden wall and then upgrade my thatch walls to wood. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I probably need to do that. It'll last at least a little bit longer. Fine. We'll do that. And then... What, uh, oh, I really wish I'd stop doing that. All right, craftables. Wooden wall. Wood, thatch, and fiber. Okay. So we'll take some wood. We'll take some thatch. And we'll take some fiber. I've been busy. I have been clearing out all of the brush. I cleared out all the trees all the way back there. And a lot of the big rocks and stuff. Yeah. All right. Wooden wall. Craft all two. There's a level up available. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put it on my carry weight. And I got nine more Ingram points. Okay. What other things can I pick up?
You know what? I'm not going to worry about that right now. I need to pick up some more wood. Craftables, wooden walls, craft all five. Put the wooden walls down here on the hot bar. Let's see, that's number six. We'll upgrade. Thatch to wood. Oh, I didn't want you way up there. But then again, maybe I was going to increase the size of the place anyway. Okay. We need to get another floor section here. Yes, it would be better to get the wood foundation. The wooden wall, I need more wood. Fortunately, I've been picking up quite a bit of it. Okay. Thatch foundation. All right, foundation in here. Go ahead with my wooden walls there, there, there. And oh yeah, I need at least two more sections of it there. How many do I have? Or was that it? Apparently I've got one. Let's get two more. Oh, cute. <laughs> okay, the only way that's going to fit is if I put another section of floor back there. Because it's... It won't go because of the boxes. Uh, okay. Can I make another foundation piece? Number seven, foundation, kabam. All right, and number six for some walls, bang, bang. Make another one, and boom. Not great, but I can put more storage boxes back there. Okay. Meanwhile, where is my leathery uh, guest? The one that I don't want. Well, he's still over there behind the rock. Well, he can stay back there behind the rock. Holy lag burst. All right. All right. Oh, and I did finally get a bed made, so I can actually respawn back here. All right, let's see. Actually, I need it craftable. Do I have the stuff and things for a campfire? Let's get at least one of those made. I like to have those going through the nighttime hours. Do 
through my cooking then, and it provides just enough warmth if I stay in the right distance from it. Okay, I can see what I'm going to end up doing here, making this two wall sections high. Yeah, something like that. As I continue to strip all the trees and growth in the area and pick up all of the stone and so on. Let's see. Repair. Repair. And how about here? No, I'm not going to demolish. I just want to see if any of them have a, any more have a repair option. Okay, looks like I've taken care of all of that. How about this? Okay, that's repaired. I'm going to have to get a door on there at some point. And my uh, Carno friend over there is still on the other side of that rock. And I think any trips I take out of here... Oh, that was real cute. Jump right over the wall. Any trips I take out of here are going to be... Uh, Probably off this way and along the tree line because I don't want young Carno to see me. Okay, can this be repaired? Insufficient resources to repair. Oh, I need to get some more wood out. Repair. Repair. Okay, looks like we're going to have some rain here. And if I stand right about here, I can see him through that half-resolved rock, which may be a little cheaty, but I'll take it. I'm sure it's got to do with the fact that I've got the draw distance, or the render distance turned way down in order to have anything approaching a reasonable frame rate and uh, so on. Maybe a little cheaty, but I'll take it. All right, I'm going to uh, see what else I can do about building some more walls, get some more supplies, and uh, try not to be aggressing the Carno again. Hopefully he will go away. I will be back later with an update. And I'm back, and it looks like Carno is no longer over there. We've got this thing sitting over there, with uh, light growing out of it up into the sky, like some kind of a beacon. So I thought I'd go over and have a look. Taking care not to aggro, to aggro something that could uh, have me for lunch. Like, for example, not annoying the trike over there. But I want to know what this is. Supply crate. Okay. Must be level 15, huh? Well, that's not going to make it very useful for me. I saw another one a few minutes ago. It was off in this direction. Oh. And, uh, I did finally get around to making a uh, water skin, or actually a couple of them. Let's get that refilled. And do something about the food. Okay. I see that other one over there, way off in the distance. Probably wouldn't be a brilliant idea to try to get that far, because that looks like it's really a long ways. 
Meanwhile, I don't see a whole lot going on here now. Except for the mysterious green, weird looking supply crate. Looks more like a lander of some kind. Well, okay, let that be a lesson. You manage to evade a carno once and it gets stuck in the terrain, get away from it and don't try to stand there and shoot it like a dummy. Because that was really bad. And very nearly cost me everything as it began to uh, attack the house. Anyway, the place is a little bit better with the wood here. I'm going to have to end up getting the uh, wood foundation and upgrade this to match it. Let's see, do I have... Yes, I did get up to level 10, so let's have a look at these. Wood foundation, is that in here? Well, of course it is. The question is, where is it? wooden wall already have that where's the wooden foundation there it is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do it just simply because this wooden stuff is gonna be better than thatch let's see how about nice neat little things like uh, wooden door frame that will cost six wooden door well, I have the thatch door don't I no I don't but I have to have it in order to get the better door so I guess I'll go with that All right. In the meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the floor into wood. Get a door, a uh, thatch door in there. At least it's something. Probably get some more of these supply crates built. Get a floor section out here and out here. And then tear these walls down and expand the place. I might as well since it's already started. And this gives me the idea that maybe taller walls would be a good idea. In the meantime, yeah. <laughs> I think the most adventuresome thing I'm going to do for a while is going to be... Oh. Oh, crap. Oh, it's down. It's down. Quick. I have some narco berries. I have some meat. I hadn't quite anticipated doing this. Well, not quite right away. All right. Okay. A chance encounter that may result in a third number one. And let's keep it down with the narco berries. All right. And what's my situation here? Health 54 and climbing. All right. Well, that was an exciting end. Almost as big of an ending as the beginning was. As a matter of fact, pretty much the same kind of thing. All right, well, in other words, I'm back where I started, but I'm still alive. And I've learned my lesson. No attacking or aggravating or aggroing carnos, because that is a really dumb thing to do. <laughs> Ain't that a mess? We've got another supply crate thing coming down. 
looks like it's in the same spot and it looks to be just as green as the other one so I'm going to ignore it at least for another five levels <laughs> okay I hope this is enough raw meat all right this thing is just about tamed Big Brown and Ugly is still wandering around. He wandered by here and doggone near stepped on us. Okay, we need this to finish. There we go. All right. One B. Okay. What is your settings? Actually, we're going to hold for more options. Okay. Aggression to neutral. All right. That's fine. Okay. It's over there knocking down trees. How about that? I don't know what it is, but it's taking down trees. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to take one second here. Let's get this level up. And I think I need to start putting more of this on carrying weight and Ingram points, I'll figure that out between now and next time. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here.